Joe Painter here of confidencecoachingforwomen.co.uk and this week I had one of my regular group calls all about communicating with power. So I was talking to my group of fabulous clients about how you can get rid of your speech habits that are stopping you from having real impact with your conversation. And the reason is that when you listen to a group of women talking, we tend to talk to build relationships, which means we soften a lot of our language, which is absolutely fine. But what happens when you're in a situation where you want to be assertive or where you want to really get your opinion or idea across? In those situations, these sorts of speech habits aren't helpful and can actually diminish the statement you're trying to make. And by speech habits, the sorts of things I'm talking about are using the word just, either in conversation or an email. So, I just wanted to ask. I just thought. The word just is unnecessary in the statement for a start. And the reason we put it in there is to soften the statement a bit, as if we're a bit worried that people will be upset or won't like us if we say something like that. But putting the just in makes it diminish the impact of your statement and it also um, makes it sound like you're feeling a little bit insecure or lacking confidence. So just notice how often do you use the word just? A similar one is the word actually. Um, actually, I've just got an idea or actually, I'd like to disagree with that. It's almost as if you're surprised by what you're going to say. And again, it can come over as if you are lacking confidence. A very common one is the word sorry. And if we use the word sorry too much when it's not appropriate or when it's not necessary, then again, it makes us sound lacking in confidence. So think about when you go to ask a request from somebody or you turn down a request or when you're making an opinion or a statement. If you constantly using the word sorry, then it does come across as if you lack self-belief in what you're saying. So it's really worth thinking about how often you're using the word sorry and am I using it too much and am I using it when I'm not actually sorry. Um, and another one that's maybe not so well known is the um, does that make sense statement. So for example, at the end of this video, I could say, does that make sense to you? But what that's doing is suggesting the way that I've put it over, the way that I've communicated it wasn't clear. Whereas if you change that instead to say, do you have any thoughts or comments on what I've just said? Then it's turning it over to the other person so that they um, can think about what it's meant for them rather than suggesting that the way you've communicated isn't right. So these are just a few speech habits that maybe you fall into sometimes. And I'm not suggesting that you should completely cut them out and you should be really hard on yourself. What I'm saying is when you really want to make an opinion or an idea have impact and power, then just think about the, state, the speech habits you're using. And we do use them in a way um, that's almost self-deprecating. It's almost putting down the point that we want to make. So if you're using that to build relationships and not to come across as direct or as harsh as possible, then there are other ways of doing that. Building relationships with warmth either side of a meeting, using humour, all these ways are really good for getting, getting a relationship with the other person and then you can use your powerful communication when it's necessary. So take some time, reflect on those words. Are there any that you really resonate with that you use? And then think about how can I cut them back in certain situations? If you'd like to learn more about communicating with power and being assertive, then please do book a call with me. We'll have a chat about what's um, going on for you in your career at the moment, the challenges that are holding you back in your communication, and I'll share with you exactly how you can move forward and be, become confident and demonstrate your confidence and potential. All you need to do is go to speakwithjoe.com, straight to my online calendar, and I'd love to have that conversation with you. This is Joe Painter of confidencecoachingforwomen.co.uk.